Um, in accessing childhood um, causal emotions, I've done a lot of processing on myself in sort of getting to the bottom of this belief that I have that I'm all alone in the world. Yep. And I sort of have a terror of finding an event that is so horrifying that, I, that it would be just, you know, a terrifying thing for me to remember. But I've actually never remembered any one terrifying event. Do you have to find sort of dredge until you find a terrifying event? Or can it be just a whole series of, I mean, I've, I've accessed fear of the dark and many other things in, in searching for why I feel alone. But I've never really come to any... You know, pot of gold. Okay, how many of you feel there is one terrifying event that is in your life that you feel is there but you just can't access? Like, there's, you'll find there's quite a number in the audience who feel this way. The answer is yes, there is one terrifying event that is in your life that you can't access. Right? For those people. Now, now there is a deep level of terror surrounding accessing the event. And this applies to yourself. There is a deep level of terror around access, accessing the event. So what, I, what I, I've had similar terrifying events to access. So what, you notice all of a sudden, me just confirming with you that there is an event is all of a sudden bringing up emotions for you. So what I'm, your, your own soul is confirming the truth that there is this terrifying event that you will eventually access. Does that make sense? Now, just allow yourself to understand that that's true. That's the first step, is to allow yourself to understand the truth. The, the denial that you've had up to this point is that you haven't wanted to believe that that would be true. Right? And that's why it's hard to access the event. Now, most of these events are surround abusive childhood situations. Right? Either sexual abuse, violent abuse, physical abuse, you know, um, sorry, mental? mental abuse even, but usually it's something physically painful that occurred um, that these are kind of events surround. Allow yourself to understand that yes, there probably is this one event, and there, for many there could be more than one, but there will be one that was the first one, which is the one you want to access anyway. And yes, allow yourself to see that it is there because you know it's there in your, in your heart. It doesn't matter at this stage what it is. At first, just allow yourself to understand that what you suspect to be true is probably true. It is true. And allow yourself to acknowledge that. And also allow yourself to see that you will get to it if you keep accessing your emotions. And what that does too, and start talking to God about that, about that, that there is this one event and you know that there is this one event and you would like to access it but you're afraid. Say what, you know, what you're feeling about it and you'll find that you will access the event pretty rapidly. Now almost everyone that I've suggested this to has usually accessed the event in the following three months. So they've usually got to a real core emotion about something that's been a very traumatic and terrifying event in their childhood. In some cases it's been even an event like someone drowned and was resuscitated. Or you know, it could be an event like that as well, besides abuse. Um, sounds like I'm rattling again. So do you understand that it could be anything to do with something like that even, not just abuse, an abuse issue? Yeah, I'm just, um, it's really ready to come to it yeah. in the last month or so. I'm really, it's, you know, it's manifesting as bad indigestion, heartburn. And That's it. I'm overheating and it's really wanting to come out. But, yeah. and, and I just, uh, you know, I'm a practitioner, I'm a counsellor myself, but I'm just really struggling with pulling this one out. Just yes. really sitting heavily. So the main thing at this point is now just to start telling yourself the truth. Yes, there is this event. Yes, I'm going to be able to do something about this event. We're going to get to the bottom of this event. You know, and whatever it is, you can actually handle. At the moment, you don't believe you will be able to, but but if with your relationship with God, you will be able to handle the event and the emotions surrounding the event, and it will actually change your law of attraction quite markedly once you release the emotion. And in fact, for anyone who's experienced childhood abuse or a childhood event has been traumatic, when you release that event completely, 
your law of attraction will markedly change in lots of different areas. So there's a lot to look forward to in accessing the event too.